Once upon a time, there was a gal named Sleeping Beauty. She pricked her finger, slept for many years, blah, 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 blah. I've had some time to think about this here on Dorman Duty. This story's not as clear as it appears. You expect me to believe this lady's such a heavy snorer. She slept through her own adventure while some prince had it for her. I truly can't imagine with all I've seen and known she wouldn't try to fix things on her own. I think I feel if she were real she'd fix things on her own. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name's Norman. I'm a doorman. You could call me Norman, the doorman. I've worked here at the El Dorado on the Upper West Side for many years, and in that time, who boy, have I seen a lot of interesting people and heard a lot of peculiar stories. And while I've got doubts about the tale of Sleeping Beauty, there is a story that's oddly similar. And it happened here, in this very building. It all started 13 years ago, in apartment 8B, because of a little girl named Daisy Green. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm not Daisy. I'm Daisy's mom, Mrs. Green. I'm whispering because Daisy just went down for a nap. She doesn't like naps, but she's got a big day today. You know, with her birthday and all. She needs her rest and she's finally asleep. So I need you all to be very, very quiet. I got the cake. Shh. She's asleep and our guests who arrived a little early are helping me be quiet. Guests? Shh! Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Where should I put this? In the kitchen. Gosh, nap time's officially over. Eat my birthday! Daisy, we know how excited you are, but Mommy and Daddy need you to calm your body and watch your surroundings. 
You bounced so hard that Maurice the Unicorn flew halfway across the room. Sorry, Maurice the Unicorn. I put you back. We have lots of people here for your party, and none of us want you to get hurt. I never get hurt. I bounce. Hello? Mr. Green, I got a firefighter, a teacher, and a doctor down here in the lobby asking after you. What in the name of Central Park West is going on up there? Hiya, Norman. Send him up. It's Daisy's birthday party, and we invited everyone we know. Roger that. Over and out. That was Norman the Doorman. He says he's got a firefighter, a doctor, I know. A... I could hear him on the intercom. Daisy, you're about to meet three special people. Mommy and Daddy's oldest and best friends in the world. Aunt Ada, Uncle Bo, and Aunt Cece. They're your own personal squad. They're your squad parents. Ooh. Come on in, Aunt Ada. I'm your first friendly firefighting squad parent from the outer boroughs. Aunt Ada from Brooklyn Ladder 225. Hey, hi, it's very nice to meet you. I've been meaning for a while to get to Manhattan. This trip is long overdue. So I've been writing all day from the end of the A to say a happy, happy birthday to you. Abu Abu. And boy, do I have a special birthday wish for you. Daisy Green, I, your Aunt Ada, wish you courage. Courage? That means you'll be as brave as any firefighter I know. Thanks. The hors d'oeuvres are in the kitchen. Oh, hello, Uncle Bo. I'm your wise, warm, and well-adjusted squad parent from the outer boroughs. I'm Professor Uncle Bo. I brought a wish from the Bronx. No presents? It's better than a present. OK. Daisy Green, as a teacher, I, your Uncle Bo, wish you knowledge. Keep this knowledge, and you're sure to solve your big problems by thinking them through. When things have gone down the drain, you'll fix them up with your brain. Oh yeah, and happy, happy birthday to you. I hope there's cake still. Happy, happy birthday to you. My wish for me is that they see that I only wish for bounce. What are all these wishes for? Maybe I'll find out. And you have one wish more. CC from Flushing and I know you want to have a slice of sweet sheet cake as I surely do too so with no further delay I'm gonna take it away with a happy happy birthday a happy happy birthday happy happy birthday to Daisy Green the last wish for you is Hello? Susan, it's Norman the Doorman. He's saying he's made a terrible mistake. I know. I can hear him on the intercom. Norman, it's Susan. Susan Green. I know. I can hear you on the intercom. What's your terrible mistake? Mr. Green said you invited everyone you know to Daisy's party, but I don't think that was true because I got a pretty mad response when I mentioned it just once in passing to her. Her? Oh, hello. Mitch, it's Marisol from down the hall. It's me, Marisol from... Oh, you already covered that. Nice party. I guess my invitation got lost in the hallway. Sorry, Miss Down the Hall, but we didn't invite any neighbors. This is more of a close friends and family thing. Plus, you never leave your apartment, so we weren't 100% sure you still lived here. I do, and you would have known that if you even once knocked on my door. 
But no, nobody comes knocking on my door. We just never have time. Daisy's such a bouncer. And we're and always trying to keep her from getting hurt. And the only time she stops bouncing, even for a minute, is during nap time. And and nap. Little girl, how do you like naps? Naps? Yuck. I bounce. Indeed. Daisy Green, my wish for you is actually a curse, boo-hoo. Your bounce will soon go flat, you'll see. You'll hurt yourself invariably. But prick your finger once, huzzah! You'll fall into an endless nap. And this is how, once and for all, you will remember Marisol. That wasn't very nice of me. This is why I don't leave my apartment. What was that? It sure seems like a curse to me. A curse? In present day New York City? I have a medical degree. I went to 36 years of school. I know a curse when I see one. Come on, guys. This is a party. Enough curse talk. Daisy, how about you bounce on over to your cake? Mama, I shouldn't bounce anymore. I might prick my fingy. But you don't let... Oh. Okay. Let's assume you're right, and this is, uh, well, you know, is there something we can do? Well, in most fairy tales, someone usually offers a counter curse. Great, okay, so, super cala bippity boppity alohomora jumanji! Mitchell, stop that! You're very sweet, but ridiculously unqualified. Could you? I don't. And I, I mean, it's worth a try. Daisy, may this wish undo bad magic that's been cast on you. Should you fall victim to this trance, my wish for you's a second chance. The thing with second chances, though, is they don't always work. And so, please use it wisely. Use it well. And maybe you will break the spell. I wish I could tell ya I watched little Daisy grow up from my post here in the lobby. But from that moment on, no one saw Daisy out and about. She locked herself up in her room, just like Miss Marisol. Cause despite Aunt Cece's wish, our Daisy still was clearly shaken. That someday she'd be cursed to nap for good and not awaken. And after years of worrying, she had, by all accounts, forgotten how she'd ever used to bounce. And she wasn't fully Daisy without her bounds. Good morning, Maurice the Unicorn. Good morning, Daisy. It's a beautiful day to stay inside and be completely safe from all the perils of the world. I'll say, would you smell that stale air? Mmm, smells like yesterday. Maurice, it's Tim from across the way. Hiya! Hey, quit throwing things. You can put someone's eye out. They're Skittles. They're little and delicious. Everything is dangerous, Tim from across the way. What if one of those little, delicious Skittles hits the window just so, and the window shatters into a million pieces, and I prick my finger and nap uncontrollably, and Marisol from down the hall gets the last laugh? Is this not a good time? If you're gonna throw more things, no. But if you're gonna tell me about what's going on in the outside... Yeah! You may proceed. Oh boy! The Junior Park Scouts went to Central Park yesterday, and we saw so many things! 
There's a world outside and it's big and wide with adventures everywhere. There's a world outside and I'll provide a sort of guide to there. I made you a slideshow on my apricot computer. I can't see your screen from here. You don't have to. Look in the cloud. There's a lake that has a boathouse with boats that you can row. There's a Swedish cottage, marionette theater, go and catch a show. There's Cleopatra's needle. Is from Egypt worth a look? It's better than these photos that I took. And holy cow, the castle, my favorite place of all. My lady, might you join me at the ball? Cause there's a world outside, it's big and wide with adventures everywhere there's a world outside so please don't hide i want to take I'd you i'd love to there. go but tim you know that i can never go outside i'm happy here the curse was clear i can to take you I cannot go to there Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know Well, hey, the Junior Park Scouts are going on a big trip today to pick up trees and plant litter I mean, pick up litter and plant trees And if you can't come, I understand But we love the company Maurice, what should I do? That sounds fun and good for the environment. Oh, Daisy, I don't want to be a bubble burster, but you know you don't have a choice. <sighs> when you're right, you're right, Maurice. Come in. Hi, Mrs. Green. Hi, Tim, from across the way. Guess what? You're taking my daughter to Central Park right now. What? No! Yay! What? Your father and I have talked about it, and you stayed in this apartment for too long. This is no life for a 16-year-old who was born to bounce. I told you I don't bounce anymore. And anyway, what about the curse? What about Marisol? Marisol never leaves her apartment. So I'm still not 100% sure she still lives here. Do you want to be like that? Cooped up with no friends and no adventures? That settles it. Daisy, Maleficent Green, I require you to go to the park with Tim from across the way, and I require you to have an awesome time. Dad! Listen to your mother. <sighs> Let's do this. Yay! There's a world outside, and it's big and wide, outside. and it's right outside your door. So follow me and Amonzi, there's so much to explore. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, and look at all these people having fun. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. There's the lake that has the boathouse, exactly like you said. There's the Swedish cottage, marionette theater, their stuff's good, I've read. It's a forest in a city, with two whole skin. <laughs> From the turrets of the castle, I regally renounce that I'm so happy I can almost bounce. Let's
Excuse me, bees. Can you please go far away over there? If you're looking for nectar, we park scouts know the best nectar is far away over there. Thank you. Whew. Good thing I learned to talk to bees. The bees are gone now. Are you okay? I'm uh, okay. I'm okay. I fell into rose bushes all. No problem. I just pricked. I just. Oh no! Oh no, what? Oh no, oh no! Oh no! Daisy? It's the curse! What? What is happening? I'm going to nap forever. Uh, stop, drop, and roll. Uh, ask an adult. Only you can prevent forest fires. I should never have. Oh, oh. Help! Somebody help! I'm so sorry. How embarrassing. I'm just a little taken aback by, oh, wow. What? It's just, it, I, I can't, I, I'm such a huge fan. When I was a little unipony, I read all the fantasy stories about human beings. Can I ask, is it true that humans drink water instead of starlight? No, sorry, silly question. Uh, but really though. Wait, what is happening? Where am I? Oh, of course, you're not from around here. How rude of me. <laughs> Welcome to Centaur's Bark. Central Park? Centaur's Bark. I live here. This is... Go back. Am I dreaming or are you a talking unicorn? Both. Let me introduce myself. Maurice Horsey the Corn Phantasmo the, the Third. Third. How did you know that? I have a toy unicorn with exactly the same name. No. You can't be. Can't be what? You're Daisy. Daisy Green! How do you know that? Because this is your dream, Daisy. I'm inside your imagination. In fact, all of Centaur's bark is your memories, your wishes, your greatest fears. It's all you, kid. So I'm asleep? Oh, of course. The curse! I pricked my finger and now I'm in an endless nap just like Marisol planned. I've got to get out of here. Where's the exit to this place? There it is, the waking world, a place no unicorn has ever been. I don't want to see you go so soon, but it's your dream. You can bounce on up there anytime. Oh no, not bouncing. Sure, just bounce, 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 okay, bounce, okay. bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce, 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 oh, bounce. I'm... Yeah, that's it, you got this. Bounce, little human, bounce. I don't know why that didn't work. I do. I'm not supposed to bounce. It's the whole reason I'm here. I bounced and I got myself hurt. I should have never left my house in the first place. Now I'm stuck here forever. Ah, is that so bad? Pull up a toadstool. Stay a while. Anything can happen in a dream. For starters, there's a unicorn who's on your team. There's no chores, there's only fun. There's no naps, cause you're in one. Anything can happen in a dream. You like tacos? Uh, sure. Come on out, tacos. Yay! Anything can happen. 
happen in a dream. I gotta wake up, wake my way out of here. Nothing you could wish for is too, too extreme. extreme. So wish for candy, wish for cake. I wish I were back awake. That's the one thing that won't happen in a dream. Look, it's the famous movie star Harry Stutson. Hey girl, I love you. Harry Stutson, you're my dream man. Shh, I know. Let's dance. Now you try. I never... It's a dream. I can get used to this. Get a girl. Anything can happen in a dream. You can catch a concert by a Delta scene. Think of something, it appears. Your biggest wants, your darkest fears. Your imagination reigns supreme. Daisy, give it a try. What would be your greatest all-time dream come true? My greatest all-time dream come true would be to go home to my family. I know they're worried about me, and I miss them. I love them. Ooh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, you're Daisy Green, and I'm your number one fan. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to help get you back to the waking world, you hear? Oh, thank you, Maurice. But how? Listen, this may sound bonkers, but there is an enchantress who lives in Belvedere Castle, over yonder and under wonder. No one's ever seen her, but she's very powerful, and she might be the key to breaking this curse. Or at least, reopening the portal to the waking world. How do I find her? The castle is all the way across Centaur's Bark, and between here and there are certain perils. <laughs> Thanks, but, uh, I don't do perils. I don't even have my helmet. Well, okay then. I guess we'll just sit here uncomfortably and do nothing forever. <sighs> all right. Perils it is. Hop on, kiddo. <laughs> now, hold on tight. <laughs> Here it is, Daisy Doll. The boathouse. The Enchantress's castle is on the other side of this lake, and bad news, I don't swim. Plus... Don't worry. There's a rowboat right there. Let's just... Was that me? Or was that a big, scary lake monster? That's what the plus was about. That there is id. The squid! So, plan B? There's no plan B. It's boat or bust. Daisy. Aunt Ada? What are you doing here? Well, it's your dream, Daisy. What am I doing here? Uh... It's your first fun and firefighting squad parent from the outer boroughs. Do you remember long ago the wish that I wished? I don't. I'll give you a refresher. I wished you courage and you got it inside you. So now I'll give you a clue. There are risks you must take. So make your way to the lake and a happy, happy boat day. Courage. Boat day. <gasps> Maurice, come on! 
but I can't. Trust me, Aunt Ada wouldn't steer me wrong. Quick, in the boat! I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you! Oh, it's almost working, but I need all of you to help me. Everyone, say it with me. I'm not afraid of you. 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 We did it! We did it! Thank you, everyone. We... Uh, Daisy? What's wrong? Is it the... I don't know... The carburetor? I'm a New Yorker. I don't drive. We're... We're falling! Fasten your seatbelt, Mr. Phantasmo! Yeah! Ah! I'm... I'm okay. Maurice? Horse body? Magic horn? Yep. All good. Where are we now? Cleopatra's needle. Wait, what? Cleopatra's needle. And I'm a sphinx. <laughs> so, Daisy, you're the courageous one. You got this, right? Uh, hi, Miss Sphinx. <clears throat> We're trying to get to Belvedere Castle. All mortals who wish to pass must answer my riddle. A riddle? Oh gosh, I'm not good at riddles. If you answer correctly, you'll discover treasure. If you answer wrong, your lunch. My riddle is this. Name one person who is smarter than you. Stronger than you, better equipped than you, to succeed on your quest! Smarter, stronger, better equipped than me? That's literally everyone! Who do I possibly pick? Come on, Maurice, back in the boat, let's courage our way out of here! So bad news, boat's broken. What's the good news? There is none. Noted. That was my tummy and so Daisy, it's your Uncle Bo, your squad parent. From the outer... I know where you're from. Please get to the point. Now's the time to trust that what I gave you is there. What was it? I wished for you great knowledge. Knowledge? Think, Daisy. Think. One last time. Name one person who is smarter than you. What? It's a trick question. No one is better equipped than me to succeed at my own quest. The answer is no one. No! You did it, Daisy! The treasure! A magic key. What do you think it's for? I got a feeling we're gonna find out. Grab it and let's get out of here. Dear Castle. Oh no, not roses! I can't risk getting pricked again! What if I end up in a dream, in a dream? Daisy doll, what's life without a little risk? Halt! I'm Gorman, 
Gorman the doorman, the guard of Belvedere. Psst, there's a side window up there. You get to that. I'm on this guy. <laughs> you think a silly little girl and a barnyard bozo could ever compete with the unvanquished Gorman the doorman? Well, you know what they say. Anything can happen in a dream. Tacos! <laughs> It. Maurice? Yeah? Thank you. Go get it, Daisy doll. Wait a second. Is this? This is the El Dorado. I can see my room from here. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? It's... It's Daisy Green. I've come to see the Enchantress of Belvedere Castle. Oh, hello. Miss Marisol? You're the Enchantress? What'd you expect, dragons? What are you doing here? I guess I came to find you. That's impossible. Nobody comes knocking on my door. Well, you sure don't make it easy to get to you. That's on purpose. I don't like people. What's wrong with people? I don't expect you to understand. You have friends and a family. You get invited places. Not me. I've got Zippo friends and nobody invites me to anything. Well, nobody's 100% sure you still live here. I know. And I'm better off that way. I don't believe that. And I don't think you do either. I think the whole reason I'm here is because you felt sad when you were left out at my birthday party. That was a long time ago. And since then, I've learned my lesson. Keep to yourself. You're less likely to get hurt. I know a lot about that. I kept myself far away from getting hurt for a very long time. But you know what? I missed out on so much. The minute I finally left my apartment, I made friends and I got to see the boats and Cleopatra's needle. And you got hurt. And then I got hurt. And I'll probably get hurt again. But I'm not afraid of that anymore. You're telling me you crossed all of Centaur's bark? You went through all of that scary stuff? The only thing I'm afraid of now is missing out on living a full life with the people I love. Well, I, I didn't know it was possible to love so much. You're right. I was hurt and I hurt you back. This is why I should never leave my apartment. I'm sorry, Daisy, for everything. You should go. Your family's waiting for you. But how? <laughs> Have one wish more from your lastest and your favoriteest of squad parents. Use your second chance. My second chance? It may not work. It's all in how it's used. But I don't need it. Cause I bounce. I bounce back. It's all good, I'm on track. So here's a wish, all for you. I wish that you could bounce back to Miss Marisol, take my second chance. You need it more than me. Oh, I, I don't deserve it. I haven't been very nice to you. What else do you think a second chance is for?
awake! She's awake! How long was I asleep? A hundred years? Twenty minutes max! Tim from across the way called a park ranger, and us. No big problem. It's the Park Scout Promise. I think you had just maybe a little too much excitement for a first day out of the house. First maybe, but definitely not last. Honey, Mom, you were right. There's so much to do in this wild, wonderful world, and I can't wait to be part of it with all of you, even if it means I prick my finger sometime. Well, that's good to hear, because I'm taking everyone on a picnic lunch. Miss Marisol, you came out of your apartment. <laughs> Why are you so surprised, Daisy? Miss Down the Hall is always taking us on adventures. She's one of our family's closest friends. It worked. Now, let's get out of here. We've got a picnic lunch to munch. Thank you, Daisy. Are you ready? There's a world outside, and it's big and wide, and living life's what counts. There's a world so grand, and I've nothing planned. I have so much planned, so, so take, take my hand. And let's bounce. So that's how it all happened. The story of Daisy Green from 8B. Interesting and peculiar, isn't it? Hello? Hello? Excuse me. Where am I? Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Norman the Doorman. You're at the El Dorado. That's so strange. Last thing I remember, I had an exhausting day and I lay down for a little nap in the cotton candy patch. <laughs> and suddenly I'm here? in the oddest place I've ever been. Interesting and peculiar. My name is Bruce Cannon. I'm the Artistic Director here at the Swedish Cottage Marionette Theory. And today's production is brought to you by City Parks Foundation in cooperation with City of New York Parks and Recreation. And right now, I would like to introduce you to all the wonderful puppeteers who perform today. First, we have Nico Negron, Sebastiano Ricci, Kervin Peralta, Fatima Schoenfelder, Elsie Gomez, and Emmanuel Eppendorf. 